Well, it might look like I'm too young to retire, but I believe it's time to move on. And let's return back to Catherine with uh, more on my decision. Oh, Doc, I'm dreading the end of this week, but we are not letting you go without fanfare, of course. All this week, we're taking a look at our favorite Dr. Dave moments. And tonight, DK Wright starts by focusing on Doc's career. And she's live now in the 7 Newsroom with part one of our coverage. DK. Dr. Dave has worked in Wisconsin, Mississippi, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and of course, here in Wheeling. At all five TV stations, he eventually became the chief meteorologist. At the first two, he covered tornadoes. Here in Wheeling, he covered the derecho, quite a few snowstorms, and some major floods. I feel like something's missing. You know, I think you're right. Soon that something will be Dr. Dave Walker, who's about to retire. He started in 1980 when technology was early and delays were often. Well, Dave, are we going to have any more rain? <laughs> Sprinkles. <laughs> Outside right now, it's kind of cloudy. He was always a good sport. Increasing humidity overnight. Expect things to change. <laughs> There you go. There was the time a viewer sent in a very long zucchini. I want to remind you the seed came from 91-year-old Clifford Visali. Yeah, Clifford, you know how to grow. Super. Really, <laughs> this is something this is amazing. I believe there are bigger vegetables out there. Weather was always his calling. Music, not so much. In Wheeling, Doc, an excellent gardener, became a major part of the community garden. I've got strawberries here and another one with beans and potatoes and things like that. He also has a way with people. What do I love about the valley? I have to say it's the people. And I've never met a stranger. I'll talk to anybody. And no matter what position that person might have in society, that I'm open to all. We will miss his straightforward, no drama weather forecasts, and we'll miss him in the garden. No doubt you will. I'm going to be moving to a warmer climate, uh, especially this winter, where you can grow tomatoes 12 months a year. The next chapter, where he's going and why, is a story for tomorrow. So stay tuned. You might wonder what his doctorate is in. Officially, it's called environmental sciences. He says he's a doctor of earth, wind, and fire. More to come tomorrow. DK Wright, live in the 7 Newsroom, working for you.